This one is about the uh, the browning type tapered fit pulley. Uh, this is kind of an interesting pulley and I find it to be one of the best out there uh, for use with HVAC belt drive systems. This one is a little different than uh, some other types. There are no real set screws or anything like that. Uh, there's a key. You can see the key if you look close there. But it doesn't really need the key. The way this works is there's a taper cut here on the pulley itself and this hub which you can buy separately with different size uh, shaft holes in it is uh, has a couple of cuts right here and so when it fits in here and we tighten it down then it taper fits in there and it grabs onto the shaft really a neat idea after having so much trouble with set screws and so on with uh, with pulleys for years I found this thing it's kind of expensive but I don't care I wasn't paying for it anyway it was a service tech a uh, good quality product really works well browning is the only one I know that makes this there's probably others that do because it's not new but let's show you how it works okay for this demonstration I'm gonna put it on a motor this has got a flat on the shaft uh, using this will work fine with something with a flat on the shaft it doesn't make any difference because it's actually just clamping around this entire shaft so what you need to know first is which side the tapers on so if I was to take it like this okay it won't fit in but I put it like this and it slides in so I want to put my pulley there then I'm going to take the uh, hub I'm going to get that lined up and then all I have to do is take this and line it up with notice I've got four holes here these two do not have threads and these two do so I'm gonna to want to line up the threaded parts back here with these that do not have threads and I'll show you how that works after we get this done okay I have it lined up and all I have to do now is just tighten down these screws and I try to tighten them reasonably easy don't try to tighten one all the way down uh, and then try to tighten the other one uh, bigger ones have three of these You keep tightening alternately until you get to the point where it doesn't tighten anymore. Okay, now that pulley's mounted. There's no way in heck that silly pulley's going to come off of there. Uh, the way that clamps on the shaft is by far the best. Okay, now let's say I want to take it off. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, now it's, it's going to act like a puller now. So if I tighten here, tighten here, okay, now it's come off. So all I have to do now is tap this off. and you're done
To me, this is the best pulley out there. It really saved my tail end quite a bit. So, kind of recommend them. Anyway, that's how to use the Browning type pulley.